I'm Brian Tracy, and welcome to The Brian Tracy Show. We're here today with Ellie Molina, who doesn't like to call herself a medium, but actually she has developed incredible mental powers that help people to dramatically change and improve the quality of their lives by taking control of the way they think and feel about themselves and their world. And so it's a real delight to have you here, Ellie. Please tell us a little <laughs> bit about what you do and how oh, you do Oh, thank it. you, Brian. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to be here and an honor. And I have been a, an educator all of my life, uh, 37 years. And I've also been an intuitive, a psychic, a medium, right. and an astrologer. And so around 2008, I started to bring this work into the classroom. And okay. from that time forward, we started doing remarkable things with children. Uh, I have children who can perform telekinesis. Um, I have kids who can do remote viewing, telepathy. And this was just the work with the children. So obviously the parents became extremely, they were very responsive to this too. So I work with parents and their children right. developing their psychic intuitive abilities. And I also do private readings and medium work for my own clients and people who are interested in learning how to access and develop their own intuition, utilizing it on a daily basis, and also just getting intuitive reading to, you know, check up to make sure that they're um, doing okay. I've heard it said that everyone has psychic abilities, mm -hmm. but they just don't develop them. Only a small Absolutely. number of people. Yeah. It's like some people can read auras and other people can't. Mm -hmm. But everybody has the ability to, right. to read or sense an aura. Now, when you talk about telekinesis, uh, for our viewers, you mean being able to move th th objects at a distance yes. uh, without touch. And by remote viewing, you could you explain that to me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. So just to get back to what you just said about um, everyone having these abilities, everyone is born with these abilities. It right. is just that there is this window of opportunity that I have found with young children, because children are in the alpha state yes. until they're about close to eight years old, okay, and between really? eight and then about 11 or 12 they go into beta wave state, right. and so while they're functioning in alpha, what happens is they're highly receptive, they are highly um, intuitive and it is a window of opportunity it is a perfect time to develop this to ha actually have them trust themselves because they get shot down very often by parents who unfortunately just look at it and say well you know yeah 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 sure they just downplay it and they don't realize that the child really truly is intuitive right. and has these abilities so what I have just found out through all of this is by working with the children at this particular age and teaching them a telekinesis now telekinesis is rare so far in my experience I've only had three children it is moving an object that is also the subject of the book that I wrote that it is based on a true story uh -huh. and then of course remote viewing is for children to let's say example I have a treasure chest when I work with kids okay and I put items in the right. treasure chest right. and we do a mindfulness activity first where we create that space of going into alpha staying in alpha becoming responsible for our thoughts the words that come out of our mouth um, we're responsible in every way for our thoughts the words that we speak and our our actions and then after we go into this mindfulness state I ask the children to take a little ball of light from their head and look into the box and then come back out and then draw or write if they can write they'll write it if not they just draw what it is that they have seen and the results are uh, remarkable they speak for themselves it's just the most fascinating and exciting thing I have never had a child honestly this is and I really can brag I don't work with hundreds of children yet only the children that I have worked with all have had results everybody has had results thereby now imagine this when you're like six or seven or even eleven or ten and you have results being able to remote view into a box what happens is your self-esteem soars okay it's like whoa look what I can do and all of those skills are then transferable to self-image to liking yourself to right, becoming right. a better person so I love what I do <laughs> Well, I was going to ask you about your, your mission, your vision, and your passion, but I think you've covered it. It sounds like the reason that you developed a passion for this was because of the influence it had in your own life. Yes. Yes. Yeah, changed you, yeah. changed your yeah. thinking. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I was what I call a closet psychic. It wasn't really accepted um, back in the day. So to have all these abilities, people were very, you know, a little frightened. So I was always hiding it, and then I would be a school teacher, and then I would run home and have clients. I worked for the Long Island Psychic Fair. I was on New York television. I have an article in the New York Times, and I was two different people almost okay there was me being the school teacher and then me being the psychic at home having the clients <laughs> wait in the living room when my family would come home from school to see all these people lined up it's like okay <laughs> so. you know I had a, a good friend who changed political parties 
And when she was asked, why do you change political parties? She said, I decided to join the side I was on. Oh, good. <laughs> yes. one, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Well, you just decided to be the person that you really were. Yes, I came home, and that was came a home. big undertaking for me yeah. to have been on this journey, and then finally to realize, you know, this is where I am, this is my home, my home is honoring who I am. And so now, one of the other things that I really, really value with my clients, and I really try to get this out there for children, adults, everyone, we need to honor and value ourselves. And then we can, you know, we trust ourselves, yes. we like ourselves, and as you say, the more we like ourselves, you know? Yeah, well, you know, we like everything else. That's right, that's, that's right. Now, um, there are other people who call themselves psychics, so mm -hmm. what makes you different from other people? What is it that you do that is unique or, yeah. or, or, or different? So here's what my clients have told me. They call me very grounded. So there are people who are psychic and they basically live in the ethereal world and right. I'm very grounded perhaps because of my background and everything. So my clients look at me more for, I give them readings and then I do intuitive and visionary coaching. So what that looks like is, People have dreams, I bring out their dreams, I start to foster the seeds, I call it fostering the seeds of their greatness, right. and then I am able, through what I see, to help them get from here to there. Because, you know, sometimes in a reading, someone can say to you, oh, you're going to write a book. Well, there's a big process between actually sitting down writing a book and getting the book written, published, right. and out there. And somehow during my readings, the the roadmap is developed with my client, and it becomes more of a visionary coaching. So yes, I do the intuitive reading, but then it has the extra benefit, and that makes me unique also because it's really a grounded reading that one a person gets. Well, can you actually give them direction on the steps to take to get from what to comes see? to me? Yes, yeah. yeah. If it, it depends, it, it depends on like when what comes to me. So if I can give you a specific example. I have a client she's a film director and an author and she has this phenomenal book and she sent me the copy of it and when I started reading for her I said this book is gonna get out there I do not know how this is gonna get out there right now but this book is gonna get out there and so then we continued reading and right now I'm not mentioning any names but it is out there right now with a publisher uh, quite a wonderful publisher and from here it's going into film which has been her ultimate dream wow. so that's yeah that's yeah, great. yeah. That's that's, great. that's a success story. Yes, and you have those all the time. Yes, I do. I well, do. Well, tell me, how can people get in touch with you if they would like to take advantage yeah. of your services? Well, there's my website, Which and elliemolina.com. Ellie yes. E L L Y M O L I N A. That's right. Okay. Elliemolina.com. Yes, and then just call me, email me, and I am available. Now, do you do telephone consultations? Telephone consultations, or, yes. Or Skype consultations? Also, I also do. Yes. So this brings me. Thank you for mentioning this because I'm also. I also offer online courses, and yes. I've got right now coming up in September. I've got an online course that deals with dream analysis, interpreting your dreams. So how to you make your dreams work for you during the waking state? So letting the sub, working with the subconscious, and then I also have an intuitive development program for children and their parents that is all done online or via Skype, and then I will be doing workshops in the physical form in New York in 2015. Wow, mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank that you. Great <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.